I'm going to, what are you doing James? Looking James. at properties. Are you going to move into one of them? Yeah, I think we should, it's, uh, it's quite nice here, yeah. isn't it? So, guys, today's video, we are in Biddeford. We are having a wander around here. We've just been to the Keys 22 Cafe. Lovely. Lovely. You'll see the picture on the next bit to show you the picture of our breakfast, which was really, really nice. We're going to have a wander around here and take you guys for a tour. Some fishing tackle there, Kev. Yeah. You're all sorted. Get your hat. Not quite sure what we'd use them for now, but they're nice. We were just walking up the back streets in Biddeford. Sunshine and snow. Children's books, takeaways. By the way, that's a bit of a restaurant. Oh, here's Tam. Charity shops. Unless you want to tell her that. That'll be you then. I had my shower this morning. Okay, I'll have you now. Lots of estate agents. I asked you if you wanted to record. We'll move into that one, I think. It looks quite nice. Secret Garden Cup and a Baptist Church. You do for travel. You don't see them a lot now, do you? Travel agents. Used to be whenever you booked a holiday anywhere at all, you had to go to a charity, to a travel agents. As now with the internet, it does away with all of that, doesn't it? In fact, I think I don't think I've been in a travel agent since I were a kid. Booking to go to Tenerife. I haven't. What about you guys? When was the last time you went into a travel agent? It's all cuffs, isn't it? It's like. Uh, it's like... Where you go 
say there's a WH Smith. It seems like it's the only one that's actually survived. Has she? for an Easter egg. Lots of fudge. It, I'm packing you away soon, guys, because it's starting to rain quite a bit. It is. Did the foods go up? See you later, Andy. Mm. Um, there seems to be a, a few uh, wool shops that I haven't seen for quite a while. It seemed like all wool shops shut down, didn't it? It did. Clothing boutique. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lindsay's homemade cakes and desserts. Spectacle shop. Italian bar and grill. And then as we come to the bottom of here, we've got the cancer research and the Turkish barber. So back down there is where the estuary is. And the cost of coffee's at the end of there. And then up that way, you've got Spec Savers, Happy Pier, Cafe and Takeaway. Ooh. You have. And Not there's a few, few more a few more little shops down there and a Lloyd's Bank. So there is quite a few cafes and bakeries down here, yeah. The Apple Door Bakery. Are we doing a walk round in dark later with everybody? Yeah, that I'll probably finish this video showing them round. Um, yeah, I'm going to walk upside tonight. Biddyford. Yeah. It will. Then look at this building up here. So that is the church, and you can see that from our cottage. You could see the cross last night when, oh, with course. the bungalow. well bungalow, whatever it is, it's nice. It's, uh, it down. Yeah, it's definitely it's raining. Didn't like to say love. Um, Trixie's pulling my arm off. That's not like it. Too busy for her. No, she don't like the rain. Trixie, you don't get used to just. <laughs> She's like, no, Dad, it's raining. I'm ready to go now. We are closed until further notice and buildings for sale. Oh, that might not be the church because the church looks like it's behind it. Unless it's a different type of church. Lots of, lots of religions nowadays, isn't there? Oh, that's well, good. We've lost my mum and dad. Let's keep walking. I'm going to tell you, Mum, you said that. She watches your videos, James. Uh, I don't think there is. There isn't. Well, you climb all the way to the top of that hill just there, love. And when you get to the top, you can tell me what shops are up there and I'll go, oh, yeah, don't want to see them. Don't want to see them once, love. You can come back down again. Look. So if we walk that way back, we can get the estuary. Yeah, <laughs> so, and our cottage oh, the is up there somewhere. Mm. I think it's definitely somewhere we might book this one again with boys. By then Jack will be here be able to take them all right i think we are i'm trying to see that if i can spot it there. are you second sure second shelf up second shelf up on end if you walk further down you'll be able to see it is it second shelf up on end that, that orange one just there not the bottom but that big orange one that's where we are yeah it is isn't it because that's the garage above it where we park 
So let me see if I can zoom in to show you guys. Just there, that, that one in the middle, I'm going to put a pointy finger at it. So you can see it, that's our cottage where we're stopping or bungalow or whatever it is you want to call it. It is. Right, we're going to head down here and I think we're going to be taking the parents into Costa for a cuppa before we all get drenched. How about that for pints, guys? Remember where we are, people? Yeah, the King's Arms on the Keys. Looks a nice pub, that. It does. Shame I don't bloody drink, innit? <laughs> I can have one for you. <laughs> and that looks lovely. We might be popping in there later. It's a bit windy. That's the uh, church bells going on. Ice cream mum popped up at 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so this is where are we, Crystal? Um, Appledore. So this is Appledore. Bit of a few shops down there. We're on the key. There's a key in every village, isn't there, up here? Yeah, it's a nice place. Catch you back in a bit. So, this is the keys at Appledore. That's that for a, that over there is Insta. We're going over there tomorrow, I think. We've got the sailing club out at the moment doing some sailing. Little place, but lovely. It is. We're gonna have a walk around. Don't think there's much here. And next stop is Westwood Ho, I think. The edge of the keys here, where you've got the railings down to for the thingy. You've also got a bit of a shaley beach just down here look that is is pretty much like the smallest beach i think in the world but it's a bit of a shaley beach there you've got this car park now there's two or three motorhomes in here there's a park for the kids I and i think point, yeah that's an electric charging port i don't know if that's the toilet so i did see some toilets toilets blocks over there where you're parking so we're going to head over that direction and see how much it is to park and whether you park overnight here it might be because there is a there is like i say there is toilets so if we'll catch you at the exit bit i think so you've got your electric port here electrics, if anybody uses that uh, genie it's uh, here yeah but you we got a little bit of a park here i'll film on that because there's oh there is kids on it i'll like do Wales this side of it again. do this side of it you got a bit of a park area there you have and like i say from here this is your view you've got your boats going out i mean it's a bit misty to be fair and then you've got insto over that side of the river so i think me and james are coming back down this way it is it's lovely um a, a skateboarding park here So I think, um, I think this plan is to come this way again, but I think next time we will come in the motorhome, although the cottage is lovely. Um, it was one that was picked because obviously we'd got the mother and father with us, ready for a break. But, um, oh, there's another motorhome down there as well, a littler one. There's four, there's four. That's one of them with thingy top that you like. They might be here for a day, but let's have a look at the park in this. Yeah, you can. Let's have a look at. So you've got a toilet block. There's no height restriction barriers coming in or anything like that. You've got a map, and there is a few cafes and things here. There doesn't seem very much, but I think you've got a couple of cafes and takeaways, so you don't have to be restricted. It's on the Ringo. Hold on. Oh, Ringo up for it. Look at this. It's made up of all like little tiles that kids have decorated by the looks of it. So 
much is a uh, stopover crystal? Is it? £15 per die. Per bay per night, so I'm assuming that's 24 hours. Motorhomes, £15 per bay per night. Yeah. So, told us might stop opening through at night and what have you. Charges apply from 8am to 6pm and they're your charges. So, say you arrived at, you've got a four hour one. If you're looking at campsites at 25, 30 quid a night, it's you probably price, isn't it? It's not too bad. Maximum stay two nights by the looks of it. Yeah. Oh, there is a big thing. Oh, trailer and caravans, no sleeping overnight. So Cam it is motorhomes or camper vans. This only. excludes motorhomes, so motorhomes are allowed to stay overnight. And cars are £40 per week in all the Ringo car parks. The, we went to one yesterday that was on the same thing, to be fair. But yeah, so that's interesting. Maximum stay two nights, 6pm to 10am. But there's probably free parking on key anyway. For daytime. If you're, you're off-grid. Right. Well, mine could be off-grid here, can't it? Because there's yeah. no electric no, points. No, no. So that's that. And then. that's another motorhome just there. Oh, Somebody van the one. did tell me hmm? that... Well, no, it were Urban Motorhome, actually. That right. Were it. Oh, done then. Urban Motorhome, I tell you. So the Urban Motorhome <laughs> says he's had an uh, adapter fitted on his charging uh, uh, cable for yeah. van that's adapted so we can plug in a charger and you can buy these chargers off internet where he's going from and you plug them into the electric car chargers and it charges your van up hmm. so that's... you don't do obviously pay for your electric to charge it up but, but once... it's not overly expensive and it's just an idea for people out there that's thinking oh i'm off grid i'm off grid how can i charge up hmm. so well, that's worth looking into people i don't know ins and outs it was to something i got told so. Have to check out the urban motor as well, guys. So they, yeah, they, if you, else told me and I watched that yeah, we if you same. don't, um, if you haven't watched him, he is really good. To be fair, I like him. Yeah, living full time in his van. Isn't yeah, it? we the dream. we unfortunately still have to go to work. We do. Right, we're going to head da back down towards the car. I think because I think that's pretty much it for here. Um, there is a church on the we hill. Should be on a bit of a stick next time, so yeah. it might be a bit more. And we're going to head over footage. to. Um, Westwood Ho, I like that name. Yeah, I don't know what's there. We're going to have a look and see what's there. It is a Sunday as well, so to be fair, anything that would usually be open probably isn't. Yeah. But we'll head over there and we'll catch you guys there. Where are you going, James? Following the yellow brick road? <laughs> Look at them windows on that. It's stained glass at top. Number 20. Street kitchen, all bits and bobs. Sandpipers of Appledore is down here. Yeah. This is Gibbs Lane, look. Goes up middle. Some more houses at back. Nice, shop. nice picture. Dora's house. I've got a pub on end here. Fish and chip shop. Fish and chip shop this side. Four pint pitchers. In Stowe Ferry. Yeah. It's a bookshop.
shop up there and a craft shop. They just look so quaint. Look up there. Let's see if I can zoom you in. And if we carry on down here, you've got another pump pub here called the Yard. There seems quite a lot of pubs. This one's called the Yard. And there's an antique shop as well. Oh, what's this? Morris and Bot. Bit windy. Um, a over view over the thing. It looks a bit like a terrace. Seven hundred and fifty thousand. Three or four story though. Yeah. Ooh, there's a shed there for sale. Another one. Yeah. Well, that one, that shed there, that three hundred and seventy-five thousand. I think it's like a caravan, to be fair, but... Caravan? Well, we thought a shed were going to be that much. What about that one? So, if anybody um, wants to buy that one, I'll come and live with you, it's fine. Got a little quirky, quirky, quirky shop there. What's up there? This is another jetty up there. Like James says, there's ha more houses going up that way. And there's, if you go this way, another jetty way going up that way for that side of houses. How about that? It's not James's fault, he's got a big mouth. We're heading into John's Calf Delicatance, Delicatens, um, bakery, local specialities and wine. Oh man, they do hot chocolates. Look at that. Marshmallow Mountain. I checked out the price of those lotions. Pardon? I checked out the price of the... Of the Trixie, what's the, the matter with you? Just too much going on. Really? Five scoops of salted caramel. Strawberry and cream looks nice. Proper nice shop. Quiche of the month is salmon and pea. It's nice, don't it? Yeah. Look at what the wind has done to my hair. Anyway. So, this is Apple Door then. So we're about done here. We're just waiting on the parents showing up. There's an half calf in there, but we don't go in because as soon as we go in, they'll be ready to go. That is true. Wherever they are. That is true. But they don't know how to use a mobile phone. <laughs> but no, from here, we're off out to Westwood Ho. So we'll catch you guys in a minute. It's they'll... relaxing, isn't it? Hey, they'll get to Westwood Ho quicker than we will. If we walk it, we'll be there first. <laughs> no, I mean the viewers. People on the other side of this screen. Oh. If I press stop now, when I press play again, they'll be in Westwood Home. Possibly. A lot quicker than we will. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> right, we'll catch you guys there. Ta -da. And we're just walking into Westwood Home. I just want to, we're just part of the car. Look at that sea. So over that side, you've got go karts, there's fish and chip vans. Then over here, they're playing tennis. They are, and there's a kids park. We'll go round, but I'm not stopping because I don't do kids' parks. Just over there, you've got a kids' park. You have. And the beach over there. So it's a very stony beach, unless I'm missing the sandy bit. And then I'll let you know. But it's a very stony beach here. It is. And just down here, you've got your arcades and everything. So 
I'll meet you back up with this bit. Slice of life calf, carousel arcade, cabana, bistro, coffee and food to go. And then you've got your public toilets just here. So, found the beach. We should have brought Trixie. So there's a bit of a story behind that. The plan was to come straight here, but we ended up nipping back home and having his dinner. And then obviously coming here later on in the day. So now we're left with no Trixie and a beach that Trixie could absolutely love playing on. Like come on, Amy. Look at that. How spectacular does that look? See, it goes all the way across. How stunning is that? End of that arcade, you've got all of this. I mean, I don't think it's actually open today, obviously. It's Sunday and out of season. And then this side of it, you've got this. So it sees out at the moment. You can see how far it actually comes in. Got a little car park here on Back Street. Long stay car park, and again they've got motorhomes. But this is only three. Uh, this is only eleven pound a night. It is no sleeping in vehicles. Excludes motor motorhomes. So yeah, eleven pound maximum two nights. Motorhomes welcome. And this is in Westwood Ho. Just down from the park and tennis courts that I showed you earlier. So it's literally just off of the seafront. The seafront's like over this wall sort of thing. Past the houses. <laughs> but this looks quite a quiet. I mean, I don't know what it's going to be like at night, obviously. But for £11, can't go wrong. Um, is there any kids on the park? Yes, there is. So I won't record, but there's a bit of a park. As you come back down past the park, which is just there, you've got the tennis courts. 
and the path that leads you back onto the seafront. That's not a bad car park then, is it, guys? £11, again, if you're looking for somewhere a little bit more secure, it doesn't look like you've got any, um, obviously, water or like that. But here, you've got a bit of a sensory garden. You have... short video, a bit muddy on here so this, the top end of Westwood out a bit windy, got some beautiful views all up there and then you've got little holiday parks going across so I'm just going to take it over to the sign and I'm going to show you um, where they do ghost things if anybody's interested and up this way beautiful this Got all benches across there overlooking the sea. Should imagine it's a bit of a drop down, but let's have a look at this. Welcome to Seafield Car Park, leased by Radix and given to the public for community use. Stroll down the coastal path, pop into the pier house for a coffee. We're still in Westwood Ho. Not different things. Seafield Car Park. And then, just here, got a haunted house, which on a haunted live show in 2022, apparently. I don't know if they still do ghost walks around it, but there's a teddy bear hanging from Apex there. Don't know what that's all about. All down this lane's holiday park, so we're looking to see. We can have one at Lodgers for a few hundred pounds a week. I think it's 500 and something for a week. We've just paid quite a bit more than that for Bungalow. Tarka, Haunted Live, in October 2022, it were. So. Yeah, freaky building. North Devon District Hospital it was. Well, for North Devon District Hospital, I don't know what it were. on there if you want to risk camping overnight just say no overnight parking there's no gate or anything on it but is it is it worth it I don't know I get I suppose I don't think there's any security walking around at night not really known to a building like that in the background I'm just chatting shit now Big windy people, but it's not sea here. It's a beautiful sea. And uh, over in Westwood, oh, you've got quite a few out surfing in it as well because it's uh, good tides. So, and that's uh, benches for picnic and that, but it's ideal in summer. Beautiful spot, lovely. Happy with that. All that backdrop as well. It's everywhere you're looking at, and here, lovely. Catch you guys in the next one.